What is going on, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is your current situation, tarot reading, but disclaimer, if you're not experiencing any issues, whether it's argument, fights, uncertainty about the person you're talking to, or dating, or someone new, or from the past that came back into your life, this reading is not for you. If everything is good and gravy, keep it that way and move along. However, Taurus, what's going down? We're going to play along with the Gilded Tarot. Hopefully, y'all having a wonderful Scorpio season. And the card just fell, I think. Oh, it just added. I said that. I thought the card already fell. Hold on. No. It fell right when I said that. And, baby, you got the Two of Pentacles. Sheesh. So, definitely some things are going down. A lot of things are happening in the background that you might not even be aware of. But what kind of things? Hmm? What kind of things are going down? Oh, shit. Two cards came out, and oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The Seven of Swords, that sneaky, lying, little scummy fuckbag in the whole tarot deck. And you know what's so confusing about that? You got the Lover's card. <laughs> so you definitely manifested this. I feel like this is something karmic that you're closing out, rather than a past life relationship, karmic a cycle that you're closing. Definitely a lot of sneaky shit going down, man. That's what's going down that you are not aware of. And there's a lot at play here. Mm -hmm. Is it a done deal, though? What's that Seven of Swords about? Mm -hmm. It's going down here. I think it's already a done deal, but... Oh, we got the Empress. That's the Seven of Swords card, bro. The Empress is about beauty, love, unexpected pregnancy, pregnancy. And uh, if this person got somebody else pregnant, right, if you or them... Uh, I would stay the fuck away from this, me personally. That's some shit you don't want to deal with. Woo! Some deep shit going down here, Taurus, huh? Oh, shit. The Three of Wands. <laughs> the Three of Wands fell out with the Wheel of Fortune, too. Damn. Definitely something karmic here, but, you know, the Three of Wands is not a terrible card here. Because the Three of Wands, you have the world in your hand and you're about to go forward. So you're definitely looking at something new, rather right? it's a new direction or moving forward, closing this out because the Wheel of Fortune came out. So things can definitely turn for the better, especially if you step out of this, if this is something you don't want to deal with because that Seven of Swords energy with the lovers, you definitely manifested this. So now you got to ask yourself, why and how did I manifest this? What can I do? How can I apply the lesson and change and be better for myself and experience something you truly want? Because the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like, confirms that the Lover's card and the Empress here, definitely something karmic related, but you're definitely leveling up and elevating into a new level of self, of spiritual awareness and intelligence. What is a spiritual advice, though, for you? Because sheesh. Spiritual advice, spiritual advice. The Seven of Cups. Oh. The Seven of Cups and the Three of Cups. So, uh, explore your options. You got plenty of opportunities for love. And when you explore those options, you'll see the Three of Cups. Definitely a soulmate, love. Rather, it's another karmic thing you have to go through so you can truly apply and be the change. If you haven't learned your lesson, you'll be tested over and over until you do and be that change. But you do have the Seven of Cups and Three of Cups, so definitely something new coming in. That's a, definitely a contract for your love. So that's very beautiful to close that out of that heavy energy and get yourself going into a better momentum and a direction that you feel most called to. But I want to also see what is a deeper message for that situation. If Tauruses, if Tauruses leaves the situation, what is the deeper message? message for them i did not even mean to pull that many cards but very beautiful energy here though three cards came out though i'm very questioning if i should even give this because i i do one by one kind of or however it goes but you do have the good old beautiful love card this is a very beautiful card to get in your love i call this the best love card in the deck aside the lovers because this is definitely something of commitment, that solid foundation, that nurturing element, and the Knight of Swords. You know, this can be a very dangerous card sometimes because it's going fast, headstrong, head 
into something without even thinking. So be very careful of that energy because you might get caught up into something that you don't want to be a part of. But I do look at, look at it as a beautiful energy here because it's looking at this beautiful card saying, this is what I'm going for and this is what I want. And that love offer is being made to you rather than you taking that initiative or them. That's a beautiful energy. I'm not going to dive too deep into that because that's for the outcome of that deep relationship but i will say you got the star card right here and you got the emperor so definitely someone of commitment rather than someone you're interested from you know your workplace your boss you might have a thing with your boss some of y'all don't know who needed to hear that but you're definitely stepping into a beautiful energy of nurturing your true needs and want and that commitment and contract is coming from you walking away that's like the Debbie Downer soulmate that's still attached to you that is, keeps trying to come back into your life and you're like, nah, I'm going for something better. Thank you very much. <laughs> Toys ain't fucking around no more. But that's all I have for you for your current situation. Tell reading. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Turn post notifications on. I will see y'all in the next one. Stay blessed as always. Later.